here in the US, the bicycle is mainly seen as a, a mode of recreation of leisure. You put the bicycle on your car, you drive to a park, and then there you ride, and then you, you come back. So many people don't even consider the bicycle as a, as a mode of transportation. Making cycling more attractive would uh, include building more bike facilities so that it doesn't feel dangerous and it feels convenient to use the bicycle. Rao's research, especially his international comparative perspective, has really helped us appreciate that driving isn't in the DNA of Americans and that policies really help shape travel behavior. Over the last uh, 10 to 15 years, many uh, North American cities in the U.S. and in Canada have started implementing more innovative bicycle infrastructure and measures to promote cycling. Many of these facilities and programs already exist in Europe, but they are new uh, over here. Um, they include uh, bike lanes on streets, you're just striping paint and give space on a street to bicyclists. Or they can be bike paths that are separate in parks. There is a history of bike paths and parks in the US, like in the DC region, uh, where we have a, a great trail network, mainly mixed use with pedestrians. But we didn't have so many facilities within the city and on streets getting people from the trails to their final destination. We just finished a report for the Mid-Atlantic University Transportation Center looking at what is called multimodality, uh, exactly looking at this idea that people are not cyclists for all the trips or they are not motorists for all the trips, but people have very different travel behavior for different trip purposes. And I think that's a way how people can get accustomed to the bicycle, just using it for certain trips and driving, using public transport and walking for other trips. Not only am I a transportation researcher, but I also bike on a daily basis. And I bike because it's often the best way to get around. I really like that uh, I'm doing right by my community and the environment. I think cycling can play a really important role in that first mile, last mile connection uh, between transit, which is a really important factor here in the DC area. We have a, a great rail and bus system. I really hope that cycling's role in the urban transportation palette continues to expand benefits for individuals and their benefits for cities. If you look at individuals, you get physical activity just by getting to and from work every day. That's activity you would normally not get. You would have to go to the gym or do other things to get that physical activity. From a more societal or government perspective, the benefit can be a reduction in congestion. If more people would cycle to work, there would be fewer cars. If there are fewer cars, there's less traffic congestion. With fewer cars, there's also less air pollution, less use of petroleum or non-renewable resources. So there are many, many benefits for different groups. So cycling is, is good for everyone.